Let's get to local news now. A crime that has shaken the city of Love and police are still searching for this truck you're looking at here today. They say it's connected to the shooting of two teenage boys Friday night, killing one of them. This happened at the Brookstone apartment homes in Loveland. An 18 year old was killed and a 16 year old was injured. Now today, Christian Lopez spoke to a friend of the 18 year old who died. And they're devastated right now. Family and friends are just desperate to bring the people who shot and killed Nazir Graham to justice. People have been stopping by to pay their respects at this memorial at the apartment complex. One friend of his saying that everyone who knew him loved him. So it was so bubbly. He was so kind. This teen who preferred not to be identified is still processing the tragedy that took the life of her friend, 18 year old Nasir Graham. He only wanted the best for people. So hearing about it was really, really saddening. It was tragic and it's upsetting. Graham was shot and killed right in front of his home at the Brookstone apartment complex Friday. It's kids that you grow up with and uh, it's something that you don't expect in the community that you seem to find so safe. We spoke to Nasir's grandmother off camera. She lives at the complex. She says the suspects who were in this Dodge Ram pickup shot her grandson and then stole his car. He uh, was, uh, was removed from the vehicle and two individuals got into that uh, vehicle and uh, both the Dodge Ram pickup and the carjacked uh, vehicle drove around the complex. That is when police say the suspects crashed into a second victim's car on the other side of the complex. There was a verbal altercation and a 16 year old was shot. He is still in the hospital. And there's no indication that the first or second victims would have known uh, the individuals that uh, that it did the carjacking and the subsequent shooting. Loved ones are asking anyone who knows anything to come forward. Speak up and bring justice to the two victims and Nas. He had a very full life ahead of him and a lot of big plans and uh, really anything helps and bringing justice to him and his family and all of their condolences would be the most of help. And while we've been here, we have seen how neighbors in this community have been comforting Graham's grandmother during this extremely difficult time. She is asking for those three suspects to be held accountable. She wants justice for her grandson. Reporting in Loveland, I'm Christian Lopez, Denver 7.